right, today is April 21st. It's a Friday. And it's around noon, 12.30. riding to my studio today which is about 10 miles away I'm gonna leave my bike there for a few days I like to kind of sometimes ride from home for a while and then switch it up and ride downtown so my studio is real convenient to a lot of places but there's a good clear shot bike trail from here to my studio so since my wife and kids are gonna be down there anyway in a few minutes I'm gonna just have her pick me up dropping off my bike at the studio so I can go ride tomorrow or whenever. Maybe even later today downtown. I'm going a little bit different way this time because it's a little bit shorter route even though it's a little bit more roads. But it's not bad. a little faster today than normal just so I don't keep her waiting and get there before she does hopefully Sunday in Warm Springs, Georgia. I shot a wedding there this Monday as well, the same spot. Probably a bunch of glass on the ground anyway. So anyway, the acceleration helps the torque to just scoot across the road real quick when traffic and stuff. I've always felt the same way about cars. That fast, quick cars are a lot safer than low clunky cars because you can maneuver so much quicker 
Miller Road right here is the other road that's my least favorite in this area. So people drive really fast. Clear, no cars, thankfully. That truck behind me was in a little bit of a hurry. So this trail will take me all the way, or we'll go all the way downtown, but I'm going to take it over to Slade, which is near Lake Bottom, which is near my studio. So the bulk of this ride is on this bike trail, which is awesome. So even though it's 10 miles from my house to my studio, it's mostly protected. And pretty. Even a lot of shade for hot summer days. Springs Connector, which is a busy road, but I'll use the buttons for this unless it's clear. And it is clear, so. something different this time putting my phone which is what I use to record these videos on my helmet on this GoPro bracket on the front I'm gonna try this again I've got the my phone attached to my helmet now for some reason the video cut off before so you want to try it again this way I can turn my head and show what I'm seeing, hopefully my phone won't go flying off. So 
we're five miles in now of about 10 miles, really more like nine because we took a shortcut. So this is the busy place up here. This is um, University, Manchester Expressway, there's Burger King right there, the mall over there, airport behind that. I'm all scoot over here. Man, I hope nobody recognizes me because I look silly right now. Let's see if it ever gives me a go ahead. Yeah, here we go. Part of this trail. Okay, so there's the creek. I'm just gonna throttle through here, get back on the trail. I don't keep her waiting. Them, but they didn't see me. All right, back on the trail. This is a uh, another neat spot where we're crossing over the interstate I-185. So that southbound. That's northbound towards Atlanta. That goes to Fort Bennett. Soon to be named Fort Moore for political reasons. Which is silly, in my opinion. So I'm just going to pedal, get a low power assist, get a little bit of exercise. See like this, I can turn my bike off. It's on zero pedal assist. I'm going 21 miles an hour now. Slightly downhill. Of course I had some momentum going first, but... a hill though this is a heavy bike at 78 pounds so I'll 
stop up here and switch my camera back. Just wanted to do that as an experiment, see how it worked. I think that was Miss Adams. She used to be my fifth grade teacher many, 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 many years ago. All right, stop here. Alright, back on the chest mount. Just for my own vanity since I really look like an idiot with a big old iPhone 13 Pro glued to my forehead. Alright, I'm gonna scoot quickly now because I'm really supposed to be there. She's probably on her way to get me now. Hey, sorry, like anybody actually watches this silliness. I just do this for fun. I don't know why. It's a sure sign that I'm turning into an old man. I'm turning 50 in a couple months. Gotta play the part. picking my son up like pretty much across the street over there so if they're running late and haven't picked him up yet they'll probably pass me on the road so hard I might have made it bigger. So this is the St. Elmo house. It's a very rich history here. Um, been a lot of, there's a lot of history here. The, I think, let's see who all stayed here. I don't know, you can look it up. Sorry, I'm in a hurry. Um, the dude from Gone with the Wind, Clark Gable, I think he stayed there. some historical significance to So this is where we used to live when I used to ride my pedal bike to the trails from my house because it was just this little road straight to where we just were before I dropped my water bottle. 
It's a really pretty area right by the park. great movie set. here at my studio. This is the village on 13th. And looks like I beat him here. That's good. So 9.4 miles, it would have been a little over 10. last night forgot to start it back all right 
that was a fun rod. I'm gonna go ahead and shut it off and I'm gonna charge up the battery. Oh, I got my blinker on, look at that. <laughs> charge up my battery and maybe come back ride later today. If not, probably tomorrow before my wedding on Sunday. See ya, thanks for watching.